Hello team and welcome to today's video in Excel, where I'll be sharing with you how to use the hyperlink function to create clickable email hyperlinks where you can customize the link name, who the email goes to, as well as who is copied on the email, the subject line, as well as the body of the email. We'll also take a look at how to combine multiple emails together within one link. Let's jump in. Starting with the basics, I'll enter in the hyperlink function, which has two arguments, the link location, as well as the optional friendly name. For the link location, since we need this to be an email, I do need to enter the phrase mail to with a colon in quotation marks. I can then add the ampersand symbol and click the cell reference where the first email is located. And this will also keep the function dynamic. After a comma for the friendly name in quotations, I'll enter the word email after a space and closing quotations. I'll enter the ampersand symbol again, and then I'll add the cell reference where the project team member name is located. Again, keeping this function dynamic. After close parentheses, I'll click enter. And now you see the link says to email Steve. And if I click the link, an email pops up as we expected. Now let's look at how to copy the manager of each employee within the email link. I'll reopen the function and just to help visually, I'm going to create some space by pressing Alt plus Enter on my keyboard a few times to move the friendly name to the bottom. I also need to add the ampersand symbol to the very end of the first line of our function. After that, I'll go to the next line and in quotations, I'll enter a question mark plus CC, set that equal to and close quotations. Here I'll add another ampersand symbol and click the cell reference where the manager's email is located, again keeping this function dynamic. Now that our CC line has been entered, I can press the enter key and when I click the email link, you'll see both Steve's email as well as the manager email populates. Now team, let's add a subject line to our email link. I'll reopen the function and again create some space by pressing Alt plus Enter on the keyboard. I need to add another ampersand symbol to the end of the second line of the function. Then in the third line, I'll enter the phrase and subject. Set that equal to the subject line that I want to appear, close quotations. And then again, I want the name of the employee to appear in the subject line. So I'll add another ampersand symbol, click cell A2 to enter the name and then I can click enter to wrap up this function. And team, as you can see, when I click the email link, now we have our subject line. Finally, team, let's see how to add pre-filled text to the body of your email with this hyperlink. I'll reopen the function. Again, I'm gonna create some space by pressing Alt plus Enter. Like before, I need to add an ampersand symbol to the end of the third line in the function. And now I'm going to enter the phrase and body in quotations. I'll set this equal to the body of the email that I want to appear, close quotations, and again, I can click enter. Now to test that this function is dynamic, I'll double click to drag this down. You'll see the email names update correctly. And if I click the email for Shelby, you'll see all four criteria appear, including who the email is going to, the manager is copied, the subject line, as well as the body are all included. Now team, let me show you how to create an email hyperlink that can go to multiple emails from your spreadsheet. We'll start again by entering the hyperlink function. In quotations, I'll enter the phrase mail to with a colon. I'll use the ampersand symbol to add the text join function. The delimiter for this function should be the semicolon so that your emails are separated appropriately in your email tool of choice. After a comma, we'll choose true to ignore empty cells. After a final comma, the data that we want to combine in text join is our three emails of our team members. So I will click and drag over those, close parentheses on the text join function. And after a comma for the friendly name, we can enter email project team. I'll close quotations and parentheses and click enter. Now when I click the link to email the full project team, you'll see all three emails are included in our outgoing email. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered. 